Hello everyone, I'm Paul Micklewire Grimes. True crime fanatics should take a peek at the new Anna Kendrick film, Woman of the Hour, which is based on the true story of the dating game killer. It's now streaming on Netflix, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Anna Kendrick is making her directorial debut as well as starring in Woman of the Hour. She plays Cheryl Bradshaw, an up-and-coming actress in Los Angeles who is questioning her life choices. It's Hollywood 1978 and she gets the offer to appear on The Dating Game. She agrees that it's harmless and she doesn't plan on dating any of the bachelors. She makes for a great contestant, pushing back and being a little snarky with each of the men. But it's bachelor number three, a photographer named Rodney Alcala, who's played by Daniel Zavato, who seems to intrigue her the most. Now what Cheryl and the producers don't know yet is that he is a serial killer on the run and hasn't been caught yet. Woman of the Hour comes from a screenplay by Ian McDonald, which sat on the blacklist of the best unproduced scripts in Hollywood. Now thankfully someone took a chance on it as it is an incredibly intriguing story handled with care and intrigue by Anna Kendrick. Now, I was immediately struck by the stillness of how Kendrick uses the camera under cinematographer Zach Cooperstein. Now, he captures the uneasiness and the oddity with Rodney and his interaction with his women. Kendrick seems more interested in keeping this a psychological character study than relying on shocking, bloody crime scenes to tell the story. It's not gruesome or garish, as Kendrick remains sensitive to what happened to Rodney's victims. The story is told in non-linear order, and Cheryl's storyline of the dating game are the kind of current timeline, and the film then flashes back to cover some of Rodney's victims, which then I think builds up the tension as we then see him progress during the game show. We, the audience, know the truth about him, and the film implies that someone in the audience recognizes Rodney, but can't seem to find anyone who will believe her. Kendrick points out the misogyny at hand, knowing that women are never believed and often made to feel like they're the ones causing the harm to someone like Rodney. The end credits describe how Rodney continued his spree after the game, and that the true volume of his crimes is unknown. Ian McDonald's screenplay makes this a, just a snapshot of his whole story. And while some of it is altered a bit, it doesn't feel overly embellished with filler just for dramatic purposes. Kendrick keeps this lean. Daniel Zavato is outstanding as Rodney Alcala. He keeps Rodney a bit of a mystery while still trying to play him as this fully dimensional character and one that would just entice his victims into his orbit. Anna Kendrick doesn't shy too far away from her usual brand, but her spunky, feisty personality works well here, especially during the dating game scenes. You feel this thick tension as Rodney is kind of this ticking time bomb, I think, waiting to go off, if Cheryl pushes him too far like she does with some of the other contestants. Anna Kendrick has a strong directorial debut on her hands, it's not going to be the shocking true crime horror show that you might expect. Kendrick really creates this kind of interesting character profile by shining a light on victim stories while acknowledging a system at hand that wouldn't believe them to the point where a killer could go on national television to then seek out one of his next victims. I'm giving Woman of the Hour three and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some other movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and I'd love to hear from you. Are you into the true crime genre? Let me know some of your favorites here in the comments or on social media, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Woman of the Hour. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.